everyone and welcome back to my fine art channel. So to, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing some uh, colors from Rublev uh, and uh, as you know in my previous reviews of Rublev brand oil paint uh, it's one of my favorite brands and they make really beautiful nice uh, high quality oil paints and uh, George O'Hanlon who's the owner of Natural Pigments who makes Rublev colors was kind enough to send me uh, some samples of a few new colors that I would like to try uh, and review for this video. And one of the ones I'm the most excited about is the Cadmium Red Light because up until just last year, uh, Rublev did not carry cadmium colors uh, since they were mostly uh, a manufacturer of historical pigments. Uh, but just last year, in the early part of 2018, they started making cadmium colors. And so this is the first chance I've had to try uh, try one and see what it's like. So what I'll do is I'm going to do a comparison of the three Rublev, Rublev colors I have here, which is Cadmium Red Light, French Burnt Sienna, and Prussian Blue, to the same color in uh, other brands. Utrecht, I'm going to compare the Cadmium Red Light. I'm going to compare the Burnt Sienna to the Utrecht Burnt Sienna and then the Prussian Blue to the Lefranc Prussian Blue. So, and we'll do kind of uh, a uh, controlled sort of mixing uh, to see how the Rublev stacks up and I have no doubt that uh, the Rublev will come out on top since they are very, very well made colors. Anyway, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Flake White Hue from Windsor & Newton as my testing white. And this is really just a form of titanium white. So what I'll do is measure out very careful fixed amounts so that you know that the amount being compared for each color is equal. So let's measure out some whites and then measure out some colors. Okay, so now that I have each of my colors measured out, I measured all of them with this uh, small measuring spoon so that each pile is as close to equal as possible in terms of volume. That way we can compare the way the color mixes with white. So as I said, Rublev uh, earlier last year introduced these new uh, cadmium colors, which you can see here listed in their color chart, uh, you know, the yellow, cadmium yellow light, uh, cadmium yellow deep, cadmium orange, cadmium red light. Uh, so uh, what I'm testing today is the cadmium red light, uh, which is one of my favorite colors. So here is the Rublev on the left side and the other brands on the right. So first of all, I can see that the Rublev Cadmium Red Light, it's probably not as easy to see on camera. And again, that's unfortunate because my camera doesn't reproduce the colors as well. Um, but I can see compared to the Utrecht that the, it's a very, very small difference, but the Rublev Cadmium Red Light is ever so slightly uh, redder. Um, it's, it's still just as saturated in terms of chroma, but it's not quite, it leans slightly more toward red, uh, whereas this is more, has more orange in it, but that's just probably because they source their pigment from different manufacturers, so, uh, that's not a big deal. It's just something that I notice. So anyway, so if we start by mixing the... Utrecht color with the white. This is roughly equal half and half by volume. We can see that this 
makes a beautiful salmony, peachy red, orangey pink color. So let's compare that to how the Rublev mixes. Now the one thing I can say, the consistency of the Rublev is it's much more um, softer and it's a longer paint, which means there's slightly more um, oil in it. I don't know if it's just that there's more oil in it or if it's ground a little differently, but it's, it's softer and more pliable. But when I mix it with the white, you can definitely see how the Rublev color doesn't lighten up as much. And that's a good thing because that means that there's a much heavier pigment load in the Rublev. So a little, it goes, it goes longer. So even though it's maybe more expensive to start with, you know, a, a really well pigmented paint color like this will, will last you longer because the tinting strength is higher. You don't need to use as much of it. I don't know if you can see that in the, but you can see that this, this lightened up, the Rublev lightened up much less than the Utrecht when I mixed it with the white. Now the cadmium is naturally a pretty strong color anyway. Um, but I can definitely see the difference when mixed with the white. So I may have to get a second sheet here to do my other colors. But So let's move on to the Prussian blue. Okay, so we'll start with the Prussian blue from... Lefranc. The Prussian blue again is a strong color. So this white isn't going to lighten it up a whole, whole lot. The Prussian blue has an interesting history behind it, the pigment itself, because it was discovered by accident in the early 1700s. And, uh, it was the first blue uh, that was able to be artificially produced uh, in large quantities and could be made relatively inexpensively. Uh, so it became very popular because up until that time, all there was was natural ultramarine, also known as lapis lazuli uh, pigment. And that was really, really, really super expensive. So Prussian blue came along, you know, and kind of, gave artists a blue that they could use more easily. So now this is the Rublev Prussian blue. I'm mixing this here. And again, I can definitely see that the Rublev has not only a higher tinting strength, it's eating up the white a little bit more than the Lefranc paint did, but also the chroma is richer and more saturated. Again, you probably can't see it on the camera as easily, as it, but the chroma of this is, is more deep and it's more blue than the Lefranc paint, which, you know, when you compare side by side, I can see this is just slightly grayer than this. This has a much more saturated blue color. So the Rublev uh, Prussian blue is pretty nice. So I had not uh, used used any of these colors from them before. So it's it's nice to get to see uh, see what they're like. I gotta get. And now moving on to the burnt sienna. This is the, again, the Utrecht burnt sienna. 
which is a wonderful earth color that's very useful. It's been around for many, many thousands of years. So when you mix the Utrecht burnt sienna with the white, it makes a nice medium brown color leaning toward orange. So let's test the Rublev and see how that works. Okay, now this is the Rublev French Burnt Sienna. And this is a little bit interesting because I can see while the tinting strength is relatively similar, uh, the color is very, the hue is very different. Uh, the Utrecht Burnt Sienna is much more orangey. And this one is tending a little bit more toward the yellow side. The Rublev Burnt Sienna is a little bit more yellowish than the Utrecht Burnt Sienna. Uh, now, typically I think of the this color, the more orangey Burnt Sienna, is more of your standard Burnt Sienna, the way I typically would expect it to behave. Uh, so this Rublev color, is, it's a very interesting color. And, uh, but it's a little bit closer it, it almost looks like you mixed burnt sienna with burnt umber and got a color that's kind of in between uh so that's interesting so i probably prefer the chroma or hue of the utrecht a little bit more uh but the tinting strength on this is equally good uh and again it's it's the consistency is is nice in the rublev colors so uh, so just kind of recap, I found uh, obviously in all three of the Rublev colors, they have a much higher tinting strength and the Prussian blue and the cadmium red light both have a uh, higher chroma. The color is cleaner uh, and a little bit more saturated when mixed with an equal amount of white. And then the burnt sienna is a little bit of a more of a yellowy burnt sienna. And uh, so that could be very useful, you know, if you're looking for an earth color that's not quite as saturated uh, toward the oranges. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for that. So, you know, Rublev is a wonderful brand. I highly recommend them. Uh, the extra, you know, uh, money that you spend on these is it's worth every single penny. Uh, this is one of my favorite brands of oil paint. And now that I've gotten to test the cadmium red light, which is the one that I really was looking forward to because I wanted to try their cat, their new cadmium colors. Um, I, I can honestly say this is a really, really beautiful paint. And when I'm looking at it again here, mixed with white, it's just, the color is so incredible compared to the Utrecht version. It's much, much brighter and much more of a lovely, lovely shade of that orangey red shade that's so unique to cadmium red light. So uh, I hope this shed a little bit of light uh, on these three colors from Lubleb, Rubleb. If you would like to try them, I will put a link in the description below to their website. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!